The underlying combinatorial structure for Mobius inversion is that of a partially ordered set. Partially ordered sets are interesting in their own right and form a large uh, sub-branch of combinatorics. Let's start with the definition of a partially ordered set. A partially ordered set and this is often uh, shortened to POSET, P-O set, um, is a pair P comma uh, less than or equal to symbol where, so firstly P is a set, it could be finite or infinite for now I don't care and this is a relation on P and this relation satisfies the following axioms. The first axiom is that X is less than or equal to X for every X in P. This is called reflexivity. The second is that if x is less than or equal to y and y is less than or equal to z, then x is less than or equal to z for all x, y, z, and p. This axiom is called transitivity of the relation. And uh, the third and most important uh, axiom is that uh, if x is less than or equal to y and y is less than or equal to x, then x is equal to y for all x, y, and p. This uh, axiom is called anti-symmetry. So these are uh, pretty intuitive. Uh, the, our usual notions of order uh, satisfy uh, all these three axioms. Let's look at some examples. You already know a lot of examples. So you could take Z, the set of all integers, uh, with the usual ordering of integers. This is a partially ordered set. You could take N, all non-negative integers. You could take P, all positive integers. You could take R, all real numbers. You could take Q, rational numbers. We do not have a good uh, partial order on the set of complex numbers, though you could try to uh, uh, find some. And let me introduce some more uh, notation. So I'll use closed interval A comma B, uh, not as we would in a real analysis course, but here since this is a combinatorics course, we will be using it to denote all those integers such that lie between a and b. So you can define this for any two integers a and b. And one more notation I'll introduce is just box n with one argument. This is going to be um, short for 1 to n. So these are all uh, partial orders, but these satisfy an additional relation that for all x, y, in P, uh, now I'm using P as a generic uh, label for a partially ordered set, either X is less than or equal to Y or Y is less than or equal to X. So let's give this axiom a uh, name, uh, this we'll call it axiom 4, but this is a special axiom which is not part of the definition of a partial order. So a partial adder that also satisfies 4 is called a total order or a chain. So this guy gives rise to the notion of total order or chain. Okay, and let's look at some examples of partial orders which are not chains. The most standard example is Following, you take any set X, take 2 to the power X uh, to denote the power set of X. 
and then you define so let's take this to be p and then p is a partially ordered set under the relation of containment so um, so it's easy to see that set containment satisfies these three axioms obviously every set is contained in itself if a set x is contained in a set y and a set y is contained in a set z then x is contained in z and uh, we know that if a set x is contained in a set y and a set y is contained in a set x then the sets x and y are equal however if uh, your underlying set capital x has at least two elements then you can show that this partially ordered set is not a chain. I'll leave that as an exercise for you to think about. And let's look at one more example of a partially ordered set that is not a chain. Let's look at, uh, this is one of the examples I used in the previous lecture, n cross n with the relation less than or equal to where I would say that x1 comma x2 is less than or equal to y1 comma y2 if x1 is less than or equal to y1 and x2 is less than or equal to y2. Now again you can easily check that this satisfies the relations for a partially ordered set but it is not a chain. And another very important example which again comes from the previous lecture is you look at p and uh, I need to define uh, P is the set of positive integers and I'll say that D is less than or equal to N if D divides N. Now again, it's true that if X divides X, if X divides X for every positive integer X, if X divides Y and Y divides Z, then X divides Z. Also, if X divides Y and Y divides X, then X is equal to Y provided x and y are positive integers. So certainly this is a partially ordered set, but you could take the integers three and four, uh, neither does three divide four, nor does four divide three. So this does not satisfy uh, the condition for being a chain. So that's another partially ordered set that is uh, not a chain. 